Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robel and today I'm going to show you how to make a stunning 3D CGI ads in After Effects with no plugins. In this tutorial, we're going to cover 3D camera tracking, adding 3D objects to your scene, adding shadows and environment, and finally animating the 3D objects. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. You can download the 3D models that I'm using here in on Sketchfab and also if you want other types of 3D models you can all you can find some free tools 3D models here in Sketchfab. You can download here with the GLB file and save it in your machine and we can start off the editing. And shout out to this guy who made this model and I'll put the link down below in the description box too. And for the HDRIs we're going to use in the 3D stuff, you can also download in the Polyhaven and just choose whichever you like and whichever matches to your environment and you can use them in your project. Here in my main clip, I've imported the main clip in After Effects and we're going to start off by using this so the whole concept here i'm going to use is i'm going to put the perfume here the 3d object and the way we're going to put this is by making a 3d tracking so the first thing we're going to do is click on the clip layer itself and go to tracker and track camera if you can't find track camera as always you can go to windows and go to tracker and make sure to turn this on and you'll find this tracker panel here and just click on your layer and track camera and I'm going to meet you guys after the tracking is done a few moments later okay now our tracking is done as you can see we can see some tracking points on our footage and you can make the tracking points bigger by this uh, track point size and also uh, you can turn on while you're tracking it the detail analysis so that it can make much more points on your footage and this tracking will be much accurate too. So the first thing we're going to do here is select the points where we want to put our 3D object. So somewhere here should be nice for me. So I'm going to select some of the points around the place that I want to put this object something like this and after you select them just press a right click and create a solid and a camera and after effect is going to create a solid layer and also a camera to us as you can see the solid layer is somewhere there and we can check if it's been tracked correctly by just moving in on our timeline and then see if it's working good it looks good the other thing we're going to do to this solid layer is i'm going to make it a bigger by increasing the scale i just make it a little bit bigger and position it in a way that i want to because this solid layer is going to be our shadow catcher too so i'm going to position it to somewhere in the middle of the road something like this and make it bigger as well and let's see it again if the tracking is working that's good I like where this is going so after we do that you can make it obviously a little bit more bigger and also move it to something like this and make sure you're working on the advanced 3d and not the classic 3d if you're enjoying this video consider supporting me on patreon you'll get exclusive project files bonus content and help me keep creating more videos for you the link is in the description so our solid layer is working fine and the next thing i'm going to do is import the 3d object into our composition so just drag and drop it here and after you drag and drop it it will put it somewhere else in the outside our view so the way we're going to take it to to our solid layer is by pressing shift and picking the whip tool and attaching it to the solid layer just press shift and pick the whip tool and attach it to the solid layer and then as you can see it will put it right into our solid layer but it's also not positioned correctly so not yet so just turn the parenting link to none again using the z-axis on the perfume itself just press like drag it up a little bit so that it's on our playing ground to somewhere like this so this looks good already so it's tracked and also it's in the middle of our solid layer so that's it for now but also we can change 
the rotation here if you press R you can change the rotation on the Z axis to something like this so that we can see the logo so I will put it somewhere like this this looks good and the next thing we're going to do is also create an environment layer and also making the shadows as you can see now it's plain black and it doesn't look like it's integrated into our environment so just press right click go to new and create a light and here in the light you have in the light type paro spot point ambient but just press on the environment one and make sure to check on the cast shadows and press ok and after that we will have an environment layer and also we will import the HDRI file we just downloaded from from polyhaven so just drag and drop it here to somewhere here but we don't want to see it so I'm going to turn it off and also in the light options here in the environment light in the light source you can see its default but change it into this HDRI file we just imported so if you change it to this one it's going to update our 3d model into this HDRI and it lo already looks much better than previously because now it's reflecting this HDRI model inside the texture of the 3d object we can also change the rotation and of this HDRI so if we change it to Y or something on the rotation we can change the reflection as you can see so just put it somewhere you feel like it's the right reflection of your own environment and that's it and now the next thing is casting a shadow as you can see if you zoom in a little bit there are some shadows we see here on the solid layer yeah here as you can see we can see some shadows and we can adjust the shadow of this here on the x and y rotation if we adjust it a little bit you can see that the shadow is changing as well but we don't want to see the shadow on the solid layer so the way we're going to do that is go to your tracked solid here on your solid layer and in the material option and in the cast shadows make sure it is turned on and change it into only and then our solid layer will just only cast the shadow and not the other color and we can also control the intensity of the HDRI using this if we for example increase the intensity you can see that the reflection will be more and if you decrease it it will be much darker too so just make sure that you put it on the right number somewhere here will be fine and also the shadow darkness you can also control it using the shadow darkness here so I'm going to put it somewhere to 100 and yeah that's it and to make the animation of the 3d model flying away you can also adjust it in the position here uh, if you press P you can see that it's here uh, so just make a keyframe on the position let's say around the three seconds it will be here and the movement will start from above here so here and also so now it will if we go on on our timeline it will just go and land on the middle of the ground and also we can change the rotation here so on the rotation also I'm going to make a keyframe on the Z one so make a keyframe on the stopwatch here and just drag it into let's say around three well, make a keyframe here and also around the three second mark I want it to revolve around one revolution so let's check it again so it's going to just turn and then land on the middle and this is how you can create your CGI basically so guys thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you got some value out of it and if you do make sure to like and subscribe and I'll put the project file in the description below so make sure to check it out and I'll see you guys with another tutorial with another video till then bye